Block Island was always designed as a commercial project, but a small one. So the real key to this industry is to go from a small commercial project to a big utility scale commercial project and to use that as really taking offshore wind from a theoretical discussion in the U.S. to reality. Block Island will receive a huge amount of renewable energy and they'll be able to decommission these old diesel generators that are currently powering the island. And we will also uh, export a lot of the energy from the project into the New England power grid. In, uh, in just a few weeks from now, we're going to be laying the submarine cable. It'll be buried about six feet underneath the ocean floor and that will attach the turbines to Block Island and then it will attach Block Island to the mainland electric grid for the first time. Then later on in the summer, we'll begin erecting the turbines off the coast of Block Island. Building federal waters is a little further offshore, so there's a bit more complication, but the benefit of building that far out is that you won't be able to see it from the coastline. Uh, and the other great reason to be that far offshore is that the wind is much, much stronger. And when you're working in the ocean, there's a huge level of complexity that's involved in a project, much beyond the level of complexity that you'd see for an onshore wind farm, for instance. So the importance of planning, long-term planning, and having really strong, competent contractors, those are really big issues for our business. It was obviously a huge moment when we installed the first uh, foundations, but that I think is nothing compared to the feeling we'll have when we finally see those five turbines spinning. We're very excited.